This is thinner than an iPod Nano. Just let that sink in for a moment. Apple took the idea of a Pro tablet and subjected it to such extreme engineering that the result seems to defy physics itself. Inside this chassis, thinner than most smartphones, sits the new M4 chip, an AI powerhouse that Apple claims marks the dawn of a new era. But the question isn't whether they succeeded, they clearly did. The real question is, why? Has this obsession with thinness created the ultimate creative tool or a beautiful, expensive dead end? Today, we go beyond the benchmarks. Let's find out if the M4 iPad Pro finally delivers the laptop replacement we've been promised for over a decade, or if it remains the most powerful device in the world, held back by its own software. Holding the M4 iPad Pro is a disorienting experience. It's so thin and light, your brain struggles to associate it with the density and power within. Build quality is impeccable, as you'd expect from Apple. The 100% recycled aluminum feels premium with millimeter precise tolerances. But this extreme thinness inevitably raises questions. Durability concerns haunt Apple devices. The online community has already expressed worries, and they're valid. Even though Apple reinforced the internal structure, the perception of fragility is real. This isn't something you casually toss in a bag. It's precision engineering that demands care. This brings us to a hidden cost. A protective case and Apple Care Plus feel less like options and more like necessities. If there's one unquestionable reason to covet this iPad, it's the display. Apple calls it Ultra Retina XDR, but the technical name reveals more. Tandem OLED. By stacking two layers of OLED panels, Apple solved brightness issues that plagued large format OLEDs. The result is transformative. Perfect blacks, peak brightness of 1600 nits for HDR content that leaps off the screen, and reference level color accuracy. For photographers and filmmakers, this means editing HDR content with absolute confidence. What you see is what you get. For creatives working under challenging lighting, the Nano Texture Glass option is a game changer, diffusing glare without sacrificing image quality. It's an expensive upgrade, but for the target audience, it could mean the difference between a functional workflow and a frustrating one. The M4 chip is frankly overkill for a tablet in 2024, Built on the second-generation 3NMT technology, it offers CPU and GPU performance that rivals, and in some cases exceeds, laptops in its class. But the real story is the new neural engine, the most powerful Apple has ever created. It's a clear bet on the future of AI, paving the way for Apple intelligence. But all this power needs tools to channel it effectively. For artists, the Apple Pencil Pro is a significant upgrade. The new squeeze gesture to open palettes, barrel roll to control brush orientation, and haptic feedback create a drawing experience more intuitive and immersive than ever. It's the closest thing to analog tools technology has achieved. The new Magic Keyboard, thinner, lighter, with an aluminum palm rest and a row of function keys, transforms the iPad into something much closer to a laptop. The larger haptic trackpad is superb, though its price puts it firmly into full-entry laptop territory. And that brings us to the core of the issue. We have hardware that screams, future, chained to software whispering, past. iPad OS, although improved, remains the greatest obstacle. Stage Manager attempts multitasking, but is clumsy and restrictive compared to a desktop OS. File management is still more complicated than it should be. And external monitor support, though improved, doesn't match Mac flexibility. For specific tasks, drawing, photo editing, focused writing, the iPad is sublime. But real-world work, requiring multitasking, file juggling, and unpredictable workflows, faces barriers a laptop simply doesn't have. It's a powerful glass cannon, effective only in very specific directions. Competitors directly target the iPad's weaknesses. Microsoft's Surface Pro 9 offers a full desktop OS experience without compromise. Samsung's Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra offers a massive AMO LED screen and DeX mode, a mature attempt at desktop experience, including an S Pen out of the box. It's a fundamental trilemma. Do you want the best hardware, Apple? The best desktop software, Microsoft? 
or a versatile middle ground, Samsung. And you, after extensive use, the conclusion is bittersweet. The M4 iPad Pro is unquestionably the most impressive hardware Apple has ever produced, but also a monument to missed opportunities. Pros, the tandem OLED display is simply the best on any mobile device, a game changer for creatives. The M4 chip performance offers extraordinary longevity and opens doors for AI-driven computing. The incredibly thin and lightweight design is an engineering marvel, making it supremely portable. The Apple Pencil Pro, already best in class, got even better, genuinely enhancing creative workflow. Cons, iPad OS is a bottleneck, restricting this Formula One level hardware to city speed limits. The prohibitive price, adding the Magic Keyboard and Pencil Pro pushes the cost to high-end MacBook Pro territory. Durability concerns, extreme thinness brings inherent anxieties about real-world robustness. So, who is this device for? Buy it if you're a digital artist, illustrator, or professional photographer. The display and Pencil Pro aren't luxuries. They're essential tools justifying the cost. It's the ultimate portable digital studio. Buy it if money is no object, and you want the most technologically advanced tablet on Earth. You're buying a promise of the future, even if the present doesn't fully deliver yet. Think twice if you're looking for a laptop replacement for office work, programming, or intensive multitasking. iPad OS will frustrate you. A MacBook Air offers more flexibility for less money. You're a casual tablet user. The iPad Air, also with an M-series chip, delivers 90% of the experience at a fraction of the cost. The M4 iPad Pro embodies Apple's brilliance and stubbornness, a dream machine for a specific niche, and a demonstration of power for everyone else. The big question remains, when will Apple finally release this hardware with the software it truly deserves? But that's my take. For the creatives watching, are the new Pencil Pro features enough to justify the upgrade? And for everyone else, what would iPad OS need to offer for you to seriously consider ditching your laptop? Let me know in the comments.